In this video, we're going to talk about how the Palo Alto can be used to restrict access to the internet using URL categories in your security policies. Now, this is a little bit differently than using profiles, um, but it is still a functional method of doing it. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Here I have a fairly standard configuration. Basically, everything currently is allowed out. Uh, so see, source of inside, destination of outside, every application, every service is allowed currently. What I want to do is I want to block specific websites, uh, specifically, let's say, news sites and government sites. Government sites, that sounds good. Uh, in order to do that, what you could do is under the service URL category, right here I can specify URLs that are allowed into this website or allowed into this policy uh, and I say allowed because we specifically here are talking about an addition to the policy uh, but what I mean by that is the security policies here say well pretty much everything has to be the same the, that is the source plus the user plus the destination plus application plus service plus uh, actions so all these items have to be joined together in order for something to work. So what I could do is I could come in here and I can specify, well, I want everything except for government and news, which means I then have to choose all of these other items in here. But what I could also do is I could instead create a new policy that goes above this one that explicitly blocks those profiles. Let me show you what I mean. What I'm going to do with my egress outside policy selected I'm gonna go ahead and click clone I'm gonna specify well I want this to be at the top so I went ahead and it cloned the policy if we scroll over you'll see that every single item there is exactly the same and so I'm going to edit my egress outside policy and I'll actually name this egress outside block uh, news and government Source is still the same, destination is the same, application is the same, service URL. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to include, in this case, news and government. And then under the actions tab, I'm going to change the action to deny and say OK. So now we have two different policies, one that will look for everything that fits into the categories of either news or government, and then we'll deny it. And then the other one, which will allow everything else. Now, the order in this case is really important because the Palo Alto works in a top-down configuration. Basically, when traffic comes in, it starts going from the top down, and the first rule to match is the first rule that is applied. So if a news site is, is accessed, it comes down here and it hits rule number one and it sees, hey, it's it's you know from the inside, yeah, from the inside to the outside, um, but it's also a news category and therefore it will deny it. But if it's a non-news site, then it sees that and it says, no, nope, that's not an application, that's not a website, so I'm not, or not a new site, so I'm not going to deny it. I'm going to allow you to continue on to the second site, which says, yeah, it's inside, it's outside, it's anything else, and then I will allow it. So let's see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and commit this change. All right, and now that's committed, let's try NewYorkTimes.com. And we can see, yes, this web page has been blocked as a result of the category being news. Now, just to confirm exactly what I was doing was correct, let's come back and let's look at our policies here. And I'm just going to change the order of policies one and two. So I'm going to click on two and I'm going to just drag him up 
So he's up on top number one. So now the egress outside, the allow rule is first, the block rule is second. Then commit this. And so now what in theory what should happen is it should come down from the top, hit rule number one and everything should be allowed. And then it would never get to rule number two. So that news site that we just saw that was properly blocked should never be hit. Uh, in fact, we could say, hey, there's there, there might be an issue here. So let's go back to our New York Times and just refresh the page. And the page is starting to load up. So there you go. That's one way in order to uh, restrict internet access using the URL categories. Uh, I would almost always suggest to have a separate rule there specifically to block the traffic and then always move it to the top.